her favorite place. She loved the beach so much. <laughs> we also love to read, and we love the holidays and being with our family. Her, I really do think that her family was the most important thing in the world to her. She was not a big fan of snow, but she loved to watch her, ch her children and grandchildren like play around in the snow. She just loved her so much. She was like, go make me a snowman. <laughs> Some of my favorite memories are going on the book her McNamara Bros, and her reading, especially with my sister Cadence. I remember she was like, I got to call her Miranda so I can read with her. <laughs> she was not, not only an amazing grandmother, but an amazing mother, sister, and friend. We were all the same. growing up. 
Her energy will forever be unmatched. As hard as I try, I don't know how I will ever measure up. In her memory, I'll never stop trying. I'm grateful for the neighborhood she raised us in, and I'm grateful for the confidence and trust she had in us all. I'm grateful for the wonderful way in which she treated my friends, always making things fair, giving everyone a dollar for candy when we want to walk to our local convenience store or catch the ice cream truck. Through the years, she took in many of our friends when they needed a place to stay, even animals too. She made a home where everyone wanted to be and everyone was welcome. As kids, a knock on the door was a rare occurrence because everyone that knew her knew of her open door policy. We had no shortage of visitors and we joked that it would be easier if we installed a revolving door. <laughs> so many of our friends have expressed how good she made them feel how easy it was for them to talk to her, how they'll remember the amazing way they were treated by her, and how much they will miss her. Her mom was always understanding, yet she didn't sugarcoat. She was honest and would let you know exactly what you needed to change, but never begrudge you your shortcomings, and in fact had deep compa compassion for anyone in need, and was often sought after for advice. Growing up, Astrology and superstition were paramount in our home. We often spent hours having fun assessing relationships and our own personalities based on our signs. A fork dropped on the floor meant for sure a woman would be stopping by soon, and by no means was one to pick up a sharp knife that had been dropped due to the repercussions. <laughs> she led with a moral compass rather than rules or restrictions and taught us to follow our hearts and do what we knew was right. Mistakes made would not affect her love for you or how much she cared. She would also remind you that worrying was useless, a useless emotion, and that only God knows the full plan. Her advice was always genuine and never self-serving. My mom was not materialistic or mean. She did appreciate some nicer things, although most of them were organic like warm sun and the smell of fresh air and a good Christmas tree. Still, as I grew up, like my Aunt Pat said, something about buying her a nice gift made me feel good, and I could tell it made her happy. Mainly, all she really wanted was for all of us to be around, and I think we did a pretty good job at delivering. She enjoyed good food, sweets, and hosting the family. She was a great cook and a great host. I will miss her being there to play games with us. In more recent years, Apples to Apples became a, very, a family favorite and we'd all be laughing through the entire game. She made sure her kids were fluent in sarcasm, and that we handed it down to her grandchildren, I mean her grandchildren. I am so sad she won't be able to spend more time in her new home and buy her new pool with the kids. I loved seeing her pride in her new space, her excitement in decorating her new home and setting it up just the way she liked it. If only we were in charge of time and we could have told God, we aren't ready yet. It will be hard and our hearts will ache as we mourn, but I do hope to continue our family traditions with a grateful, happy heart. I think her humor will shine through as she is so much a part of all of us. And she's, as she's looking down upon us, I hope she hears us laughing while playing games and telling stories. I refuse to let 2023 be the year I lost her. It'll be the year she's everywhere with me. I will follow her lead and try to always bring fresh fruit and pasta salad to the beach. And I will carry cash to give the, for, to the kids for the ice cream truck. I will dunk for, ever, for her every year on duck day. And I will ride the Yankee Cannonball at Candy Lake Park. In honor of my mom, we can all show extra kindness to children. When you see a child behaving out of sorts, do not judge or get frustrated. If you have your own kids, let them be kids. Let them play with water and dirt. Spoil them with patience, your time, and once in a while, let them have that trinket at the checkout counter. Don't yell over spilled milk or paint or muddy footprints. Love them with all your heart and cherish every moment. In doing so, I hope that in return, you are rewarded with the same unconditional love, gratitude, and admiration that I have for my mom.
distinct point of view, and yet the consistency and the overlapping of stories reflecting the truth of who Elaine was is evident. Gracious God, as the family has shared, we have received this gift, stirring our hearts, our emotions, stirring our memories. Indeed, as the transition for the family and for friends goes from a living presence to living memories, sharing these memories are such an important part of healing. Blessed memories, shared, repeated, expanded, passed on to the next generation. All of this exercise is part of how you have created us, part of what it means to be a human being reflected in the image of God. Because we express love, not only through words, but also the giving and receiving the experience of love. Thank you for your example. Thank you for Elaine. Thank you and praise you for the people who have been touched by her life and the people who in turn were brought into her life to encourage her and to strengthen her. But most important, as she reflected in her own words, we thank you and we praise you for your presence in her life. And for that assurance, we celebrate and give you thanks. To be absent in the present is to be present with you. May this ultimate hope, comfort, and strengthen all who mourn and will continue to miss Elaine, but also who will be healed and strengthened and stronger as they move forward. We commit this all into your hands as your Holy Spirit works in and through all of our lives. For we believe wholeheartedly that you love each one of us completely. 